Hello there, amazing person. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to episode 16 of Let's Play The Sims 4. One thing I even do in my personal game is write descriptions for Sims. I love making storylines for The Sims and I like to keep up with the storylines, especially as their lives progress. So I have created brand new descriptions for all three of the households. And so I want to kind of go over them, especially since a lot has happened so far in 16 episodes. So for Nina Caliente, late nights, parties, and a new lover every night, things couldn't be more exciting for Nina since her sister has moved out. She's living it up and enjoying the single life. Well, playing the field as if she's single, especially since Nina's whole lifetime aspiration is to get, what is it, 20 significant others? I don't remember. I know it's a lot. <laughs> as for Katrina and Don's household, I should actually change this to the Lothario household because technically they are of Lotharios now. Katrina's dreams have finally come true. She's married the man of her dreams, started a family, and is making big career moves. If only she knew her husband isn't as perfect as it seems. Especially since Don's lifetime aspiration is to sleep with 30 different sims, you know, especially behind poor Katrina's back. He's, um, definitely not as perfect as he comes off. Poor Katrina. If only she knew. Now on to the bachelor residence with Dina and Michael. After getting married and moving basically to a whole new world, Dina is finally living the luxurious life she's always wanted. However, things don't seem to be particularly well for her marriage life. I guess you can't have the best of both worlds. Considering Dina and Michael just had a baby together, Michael definitely was not, um, excited or enthusiastic about having a baby, whereas Dina was really excited to start her own little family. And the plot twist is Michael already has a baby with another woman. Dina doesn't technically know about this other baby, but I'm sure in time she will definitely find out. And for Dina's aspiration, she wants to live well beyond three spouses, preferably wealthy spouses. So I'm sure only time will tell how Dina will surpass living or outliving all of these spouses she will have. To start off today's episode though, I really want to play with Nina and I feel like her and Don haven't seen each other enough lately especially with you know don getting married to her aunt and having a baby with her aunt who's technically nina's cousin <laughs> they're crazy i feel like don and nina have this gravitational pull to each other so i really want them to meet up a little bit and you know spend some quality time together i forgot it was like 2 a.m <laughs> when we left Don and Katrina's house. But so, let's see. I know in the last, well, two episodes prior, um, Nina asked Akira to be her boyfriend. So, she has a total of five significant others, or has had five significant others. So, what? Akira, Eva, Marcus, DJ, who, which she broke up with one episode, all under her decision and then Paolo. She is not in a relationship with Don. Um, I don't think that they will become boyfriend and girlfriend, but Nina. again, you know, time will only tell. I do have a mod installed where a sim could autonomously ask Nina to be their girlfriend or even propose. I've used it in my personal game and let me tell you, it's very surprising when it happens, and I kind of really hope that it happens for Nina, especially because I don't really see her always asking somebody to be her significant other. I feel like the next person I want to try and get Nina a relationship with is either Ulrike, Candy, or Zoe. She's definitely closer with Zoe, and with Candy, 
I didn't know if since the beginning I wanted her to be in a relationship with Candy. She is married, but just like Dawn, that does not stop Nina. Oh, and then this is um, the little decorating, decor, decor, whatever, that I did for Nina. Like I said in the last episode, I did redecorate all of their houses just so that it could suit them a little bit more. When I first created this save file, I heavily based it off of The Sims 2 houses and um, yeah, I kind of wanted to modernize it a little bit more and bring more of their personalities out, which I think Nina's condo is super freaking cute. I've said this so many times, but Nina definitely is my favorite. Oh, and of course, she wakes up angry and sad. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Don't knock over your own trash can. You do need a social. It is nine, about nine. It's eight. It's Saturday. Maybe, um... We can invite Dawn over for breakfast or something, you know? Do a little ordering out. Do these meals ever change? I feel like it's always the same options every time. It would be cool if um, they had different options. We'll just get BLTs because that's kind of a breakfast food. I mean, I guess anything can be a breakfast food, but personally, I like like bacon and eggs and stuff. Clean your damn house. Well, that was fast on. I wonder what you told Katrina. Oh, she's too angry. That'd be funny if she yelled at him. Frenzy, kiss him, Nina. Wow. Was that a knock on the door? Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought that was her ex-boyfriend. Let's get the delivery and oh my god, was she Oh, denounce friendship. Don't, Nina. <laughs> Go get the freaking food. Why would you want to denounce your friendship? Because he's married to your aunt and you tried flirting with him in front of her once. Remember that? Is she even hungry? Not really. How long is she going to be mad for? Six hours? Come on, Nina. That'd be kind of funny if there was like an angry woohoo option. Kinky? I don't... <laughs> Thanks for cleaning up for us, Dawn. Let's see, I can... It kind of sucks, they can't eat together, but... You know, Dawn, it's there. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode, but I did make them available for download on my Tumblr, which is linked down below. It's um them with all of their custom content. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. One, Dawn, come inside. I wonder if Katrina knows he's here. And she's pregnant. Oh my gosh. Okay. I get. We'll find out when we go back to the house. I won't MC Commander this. Dawn, come inside. There's. Okay. I was going to say, there's no window on the door, so she can't see inside. I wonder if, um,. Katrina came to tell Nina, like, hey, oh my gosh, I think I'm pregnant again. I'm so terrified that Dawn is gonna go, like, out the front door or something. I wish Nina would stop being fucking angry. What if we gave him another frenzied... Oh, sweet. She's not angry anymore. Let's get this porty started. Oh, thank goodness. And Katrina's leaving now. Does she... I keep forgetting, they don't have contraception. Oh, she does. Sweet. Put that there. I think we can ask him. Let's see. So that they always use contraception. Oh, of course you have nothing, Dawn. We do. Just because I want to see what happens, can she give him a gift? Let's give him a condom. <laughs> oh wait, not a blue one. Let's give him a red one because that's his favorite color. Let's see how he reacts to this. Don. What do you think? Present for me? Did you hear that? A red condom. Does he like... <laughs> no. He didn't like that. Dina, come on. He's probably like... Oh my god, Dina. I could say something so raunchy right now, but I, I'm not going to. I want to keep this 
kind of PG. I don't know. Is this PG? Probably not. Not PG. Rated M for mature. God damn it, Dawn. Nightmare are fucking sad. This is not going the way that I had planned it to go. Okay, she's confident again. Did he compliment us? Thanks, Dawn. You guys just, I don't know, make out. You guys missed each other. <laughs> Pretend like you missed each other. Oh my god, I love them so much together. Personally, I shipped them. I did actually make a little comic of them. I'll leave it on the screen right now since they're macking out. But I thought it was super cute. Way simple. I didn't, like, edit the picture or anything. I just thought of the little scenario. I don't know. I think if Nina ever got pregnant by Dawn, I don't think that they would keep it. Especially if, um, you know, Katrina is still alive. Not to be morbid, but, you know, Katrina is older. And Nina get, never gets to use her hot tub. So, since Dawn likes the hot tub, why not? I always forget how nice the condo roof is her and dina never really got to use it too well actually dina did with michael <laughs> like come on i ship them so much do you ship don and dina not dina nina do you ship don and nina i don't know what it is i just love them so much together it's probably because they're both like super romantic sims and they're just so don't give a a freak attitude she did use her condoms oh it wasn't good probably because you were fucking sad or whatever oh my god marcus what do you want a date it's good to hear your voice nina i wanted to ask you if i should go or if I should get to know Dina Bachelor a little better. They seem like good company. First of all, Marcus, that's our sister. Second, you're our boyfriend. Third, you're married. Even if you just want to be her friend. Hmm. I don't... I, I guess so. Sure, yeah, why not? Right, it's her sister. Nina isn't necessarily Again, the jealous type. Huh. Or maybe she is, because remember that one time when she got yeah. jealous Amen. of Dawn? Unless she's only jealous of Dawn because she likes him. Okay, now they're being rated X. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Oh my gosh, Nina's just getting all of these wants for freaking Dawn. What if we ask him about his love life? And he's like, it's great. I went to the motel the other day with a professor <laughs> on love day oh she wants to go to the club she still doesn't have a job which i don't know i kind of want her to be um a cam girl but i don't know are you leaving dawn where are you going i don't oh my gosh is... oh i wonder if he's gonna go and talk to her Let's see what Mr. Don does. Oh my god. <laughs> How the f- ugh. Did you see her out here, Don? You're weird. Is he gonna do anything or is he just gonna stand out here like a creep? I wonder if he's gonna- Oh my gosh, are they gonna interact? No. Don, why? You're weird. I play ping pong. How about- since it's 6 p.m., we say goodbye to Don. Oh, Paolo. Maybe we'll see what the club. I don't know. Let's um get all dolled up, I guess. Dang, Nina, look at you. And perhaps we'll go to Windenburg. Which reminds me, she has yet to meet her niece. Right? That would be her niece. Let's go to Disco Padnik. Padnik? I don't know. We always go to the Norwal. Um, and let's invite Ulrike. I don't know, like, everybody could potentially be a significant other. I don't know. Let's just go with Ulrike. If you've been watching from the beginning of this series, who's your favorite character so far? Let's just be a little friendly to her. 
get her, you know, a little tipsy. What if we ask her what her preferences are? What do you like, Ulrike? She's like, I don't like women. Following a few brief moments of silence, Ulrike Foss expressed that she doesn't have any noteworthy things to say that would satisfy Nina. Perhaps Nina is already attractive enough in the eyes of Ulrike. Hmm. Their friendship is going up a lot. Who do you have a bad... Wow, she doesn't like candy. Maybe she saw that candy... Or, well, Nina had, like, an interest in candies. And if she likes Nina, she kind of got, like, jealous. Oh, snap. I dig it. I dig it. Let's get another drink. And we'll do a bridge port this time. They're both flirty. She's like, yeah, I love cleaning. I cleaned my whole house after that party the other night. <laughs> Look at Nina double fisting it. Hey, girl, hey. We get in drama tonight. Oh my gosh, they can have their first kiss. Let's do it. Cute. That'd be kind of funny though if Ulrike was like, no, get off of me. I don't like it. What if we attempt to seduce her? That'd be kind of cool if dang candy doing freaking backflips and shit. Is there a place to woohoo here? Probably not. What's up, Indiana Jones? Maybe you could be next. I think while playing Nina and stuff too, Milena should age up. What the fuck, you're just leaving us? I guess we got her a little too drunk. Well, Candy's here. I don't think she saw us, um, you know, kissing up on Ulrike, or we can go flirt with Joaquin. I thought it'd be funny if this was her ex DJ boyfriend. Where are you going? <laughs> she can hire DJ Marco. She can hire her ex boyfriend. Another DJ coming? Is he done? Oh shit. Dang. You almost broke your neck. Come talk to Joaquin. I like how now that the DJ's done, everybody goes and sits at the bar. The freak. We can have a famous boyfriend. Oh, she thinks he's extremely attractive. I wonder if he thinks we are cute, you know? Let's um, ask him. He's like, I hate redheads. <laughs> Embrace him. Yas. Get it, Nina. Let's attempt to seduce him. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. So when I was making this save, um, since Joaquin and Candy are part of the same club, their little backstory was that they were actually a couple. So Candy's mad at Joaquin because technically they were in a relationship, even though she's married. Let's see how this goes. I wonder if Candy's gonna... Oh my god, that is so loud. Okay, it's better. My bad. Oh, look, yeah, she's pissed. I wish it was like Sims 2 where she would like come over and like slap Joaquin or Nina. We get kiss number two tonight. Let's see. Heck yeah. Oh my god, this lady. She's everywhere. Don't look at her, Joaquin. It's 1 a.m. Want to come home with us? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure if I ask him if he's single. Oh, what did I push? travel whoopsie if we ask him if he's single he'll say he's with candy probably oh no okay they just have a like a crush on each other they're not in a relationship which is probably why she's married um, i wish there was an option to just like invite him over i know that there's like sometimes a like ask to sleep over option but i don't know where to find it so let's just take him off home. I know it's definitely not Nina's objective to sleep with people, but I feel like she would totally have, you know, one night stands and then be like, let's go get coffee and then ask them to be her significant other. Remember when we brought Akira home 
and we saw that super cute vampire guy. I kind of really wish that I would have said hello to him. They should be able to woohoo now, right? No. How about we go inside and you sit next to him maybe and then can snuggle. We're in with a famous guy. Well, he's um not super famous but you know he's up there and can we woohoo yet she's getting super tired though and has to go to the bathroom i guess it's no big deal since it's not her goal to sleep with people but you know it's fun are you the vampire no you're not the vampire i feel like i had this problem last time their relationship meter is not going up no matter how many freaking interactions i do because I feel like they've done enough to be able to woohoo. Maybe I have a conflicting mod or something, but I don't see. Let's see. Yeah, it, it didn't do anything. Oh my gosh, wow, it went up. Because Ulrike and Joaquin can be six and seven significant other. I think we may break up with Eva, just Eva. I'm going to go back and forth between them. I think she might break up with her though. She did see us flirting with Akira, I think. Damn, it's five in the morning. Nina sure knows how to party. Hopefully he doesn't leave. Let's, um, why not? Since he's here, ask him to be our boyfriend. Why are you in your bathing suit? Yes. Yay, number six. Okay. Go to the bathroom. Oh. Go to the bathroom. I wonder if Nina will ever have somebody move in with her. She could get a roommate since she has an empty room. But time will tell. Let's see. Um, how about since it's Sunday, we go hang out with Katrina and have her open her store. I know stores are kind of uh, hit or miss, but you know, we'll do it anyways. So we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, she is pregnant. Great. Baby number two. I don't know how I feel about this. That's a little mixed feelings. But at least Katrina's getting her dream life, you know? She deserves it. She's pretty close to her... Yeah, she's really close to her aspiration. Um, Dawn is nowhere near it. But, um, where are you? You're hungry. Feed your daughter, Katrina. And Dawn, what are you doing? Oh my god, I can't believe she's just pregnant. How many days until she ages up? She has 16, so gives her more than enough time maybe to have some more. Who knows? Thanks for cleaning up. <laughs> Look, he has the condom. Thanks for cleaning up the poop, Dawn. Okay, let's, let's go over this. So maybe after Katrina finishes eating, we can go to her store her needs are mm, they're okay she needs some socials so talk to your hubby oh you know what maybe let's tell him because i'm sure he doesn't want to know let's see how he reacts i think he's neutral to having kids so let's see i'm pregnant or are you complimenting him Share big news. Stop yelling. Stop yelling at us, Dawn. Aww. Let's, um, embrace him. Thanks for taking the news. Great, Dawn. I forgot that I had them. <laughs> woohoo the last- they woohooed on Love Day. That's what it was. The baby was conceived on Love Day. Ironic because their daughter's name is Valentine. What are you whispering about? Ooh, revealing a deep secret. Wonder that could be. Maybe the deep secret is like Michael and Dina's relationship. Don is her husband, so she probably would tell him about things like that. And unfortunately, we will be having to get rid of the dog's bedroom, which is fine. They don't seem to really use it anyways. It is a little hard, um, switching back and forth between households that I don't really get to work on relationships too much between the family members. 
it kind of goes up their self, but hopefully I can get both Katrina's and Dawn's relationship up with Valentine. Okay, Katrina, let's um go to Katrina's closet for a little bit. Since the baby was conceived on Love Day, would it be too much to name it Cupid? In one of my other saves, I do have a sim named Cupid because he was conceived on Love Day. I don't really think it would suit Katrina and Dawn to name a baby Cupid. Fun fact, I had a snake named Cupid before. Hello, who are you, Missy? Messy elsewhat. Oh, girl, get it. You look interested, so... Macy. Oh. Okay, never mind. What about you, Ria? You're actually a customer. Cus customer? Customer. Hey, Ricky, you in here buying yourself something? Or buying a significant other something? Let's compliment her style, because, girl, you work in it. And... Oh, that's cute. The crappy part about freaking retail is that they congregate in one area around the items. Maybe I should move both the mannequins in different spots so that um, they're not congregating in the same damn area. Hey, you're interested too, Ricky. Okay. I feel like it's um working better for him. I'm gonna try it. Oh, you look, you're interested too. You should buy that pink outfit, Missy. Only two of you will be able to buy. So, who's going to buy first? She keeps trying it on. I feel like she's definitely interested. It looks like Rhea and Ricky are in the lead. Don't, Katrina. Why do they do this? You're in the middle of something go close the deal with him he's really close we'll suggest some options macy let's uh ask about her price range since she keeps trying it on you gonna you gonna buy it you gonna hey oh look that brought him up really far why do i only have three options again i think he's going to be the first one to buy something you're so close, Ricky. I'm like ignoring everybody else. What choice? What? Whatever. Ring me up. Just say it, Ricky. Oh my god, and he's leaving? What the f- You've got to be kidding me. Whatever. What? I didn't even talk to you, Camila, and you want something, so. Let's, um. Where's the button? Let's go ring her up, Katrina. Your first sale. Oh crap, she has to pee. Oh, sweet. Both of them. Hurry up and buy it so that we don't wet ourselves. Oh my god, she's gonna piss herself. She's pregnant. Okay, we may or may not lose a cell because she has to pee. So hurry up. Oh my god, she wet herself. Dang. Okay, I'm sorry, Katrina. But don't lose the cell. You stink, but don't lose the cell. Please don't lose the cell. Please don't lose the cell. Yeah, oh, snap. Holy crap. Dang, girl. Well, have been partying. Okay. Close the store. We made 436 simoleons out of the two outfits. And, Katrina, I'm so sorry. Go mop up your mess. And then we will create two more outfits. And then you can go home. <laughs> And shower. I feel like um, only having two things in the store makes it a lot easier to sell things because I really feel like we weren't in the store for very long before she sold stuff. So I don't know, should we keep going with like the party attire? I don't know. Or do something classy. It is summer, so we should stick with summer clothes. We can go casual. That's kind of cute. I feel like that's... <laughs> I don't know, kind of casual. The top, maybe not so much casual, but I think it's kind of cute. I by n am no means a fashionista. I have no sense of style in real life, so that's kind of cute, personally. I don't know about the shoes. Maybe I can do white top, blue skirt, white shoes. Maybe different shoes. 
funny story, but I did have a job where <laughs> I wore like, I don't even know, six inch heels, maybe a little bigger, but they were kind of like this. And um, I fell on my ass in front of a bunch of people. It was pretty funny. I kind of feel like that's kind of cute. Also, I found these lashes and I love them so much. They're by Dream Girl. It sucks though on the mannequin they do that because I want the other sims in the world to have, you know, a little bit of, uh, lashes themselves. Oh, I think the lashes just don't look good with certain custom content items together on the mannequin. I love that this corset with just, like, plain jeans. I think that style is super cute. I don't know. I think it's cute. Okay, so it wasn't too much of a profit, and don't mind that, that looks so bad. <laughs> it wasn't too much of a profit, considering we had to spend 175 simoleons for that, but the other thing I'm going to do before we leave is kind of, um, I guess separate the mannequins a bit, and maybe, kind of, I'm thinking, I have these, um, shoe decor items, and I think maybe it might be a little clever to do even though they can't wear them just you know pretend since oops since it's a clothing store it'll be cute just to have like shoes for decoration maybe we'll set them for sale just so we can get like extra money i think that's kind of <laughs> a pretty good idea and they're really not that much either I think it looks cute. And then we do maybe some wall decorations, like pictures. Eventually when we got a little bit more money, I want to kind of make this area like a dressing room, even though they can't use it. I think it would be a cute idea. And I don't know, maybe these for now? Super posh. I don't know, is posh the right word? And I should lock this door for... Katrina, I can't believe the poor thing. She wet herself. Oh my god. A weird burning sense. Dawn gave her something. Dawn gave her something. Dawn gave Katrina a WTD. And she pissed herself. And she's pregnant. And she got her money stolen. Shake it. <laughs> oh, poor Katrina. Oh, she did get it, so... Oh, poor Katrina. She's gonna have to go to the doctor, get some medication, go home, shower. Oh my god, look who's here. Things couldn't get any worse. Oh, okay, she's leaving. Oh my gosh, actually, she was saying bye. Her and Katrina was away. She could have been here hanging out with Dawn. Oh my gosh. They are skeevy. Where is Valentine in the house with your daughter, aka Nina's cousin? What the fuck? They are wild. What is your problem? And you know what, too? I think Katrina can... I don't think Katrina would necessarily think Dawn would have um relationships with her niece but she could think that she's having a relationship or he's having a relationship with somebody else who knows maybe dawn talks to ali hunter a lot on the phone even though it's his co-worker katrina you know would be a little jealous and the fact that she has something like she has to keep going to the bathroom now too after her shower, I think she's going to go to the doctor, but, you know, she's had a rough day. Come hug your daughter, Val. Um, yeah, Katrina, come hug your daughter. I know you're tired. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so bad for Katrina. Can we? Let's go to the doctor. Before she goes to bed, come on, Katrina. Let's go find out what's wrong. Hopefully when she gets home, she doesn't pass out. She's so tired. Don, I... Oh my gosh. What if he... What if he calls Alejandra? Just chat with her.
He also hasn't seen his son in a little bit. I feel like, even though it was totally an accident, Don definitely wouldn't neglect his child, even though he's, like, not present, present. Or he could be living two lives, you know? Lana could just be like, oh, he's away on a, <laughs> a doctor's convention. Oh my god, Valentine, where the hell do you think you're going? She's like, mommy left, I'm going to go find her. I definitely think when Katrina gets home, she's going to pass out. She's peed herself. She's about to find out that she has a WTD. I think once she finds out about that, she's going to confront Dawn. Probably about Alejandra. I don't think that there was another option. Because I really don't want her to assume that he's having relationships with her nieces. Or, you know, niece. Quite yet. Oh, I didn't know that they can sit in here. That's hilarious. Don, get out of your daughter's freaking swing. What time is it? Mm, play with your daughter first before she goes to bed. Don't let her go to bed. Let's see if she wants to play. I think last time she yelled at Don. She's a little brat. Oh my god, I love them so much. Even though Don is... <laughs> I can't. Okay, and let's see with... Oh no, she has a urinary tract infection. Mm, so, technically, that could be a part of her pregnancy. So, who knows? Maybe Katrina. Oh god, she's passing out now. No. Poor thing. Did they give her medicine? So, um, yeah. I don't think the uteri is much for concern because it totally could be a part of a pregnancy problem at least so she would think we won't accuse dawn of anything yet but you know i guess it's almost eight so dawn come put your daughter to bed and katrina is going to bed herself and um i think this episode is probably long enough we spend a lot of the time with nina who has um a relationship what was it number crap i don't know but she has joaquin to be her boyfriend she spent some time with ulrike so hopefully maybe next time we totally can have ulrike be our girlfriend who knows maybe we'll break up with one of our our um so's oh poor thing she's in she's gonna have such a horrible pregnancy and nina and dawn hung out katrina got to spend a little bit of time at her store poor thing has a urinary tract infection she peed herself at her new store she's freaking pregnant we unfortunately didn't get dawn to sleep with anybody this time but definitely in the next episode we shall have him wander off and you know do that and then we will check in on dina and michael because their baby is probably aged up yeah we'll check on them next episode let me know who your favorite character is so far what you think is going to happen because man i feel like things are just getting a little bit more crazy or <laughs> I think Dawn just gained a little bit of weight from that cookie. Well, again, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!